Amy Adams has recently been nominated for a Golden Globe for her portrayal of artist Margaret Keene in the movie Big Eyes. The film, based on true events, tells the gripping story of one of the biggest deceptions in artistic history and the shocking secret of the Keene empire. Take a look. Why are their eyes so big? It's a real-life story about one of the biggest art frauds ever. You're the only living soul I can tell my secret to. The full-fledged phenomenon of the Big Eyes portraits took the country by storm in the 50s. Good God, it's a movement. In real life, art sensation Walter Keene built an empire based on his paintings and those large innocent eyes and made millions along the way, never hinting at the truth that while he was taking the credit, it was his wife Margaret, locked behind closed doors, who painted them all. I painted every single one of them, every big eye. And we are joined now by Amy Adams. Congratulations Thank on the you. Golden Globe nomination. Thank you very much. And the film itself has created so much buzz uh, for the, all the awards that are upcoming. But I understand initially you hesitated taking on this role. Why? I did. It was just where I was in my life. I was wanting to play what I perceived as more confident characters and people who had a li little bit more bravado. And then I read it again after having a daughter and maybe maturing a little bit and was able to see this as a really... Um, wonderful tale of a woman finding her voice and was able to find the strength in the character. And you actually sat down and, and spoke with you, met Margaret. Tell me what your impressions were. She's such a generous, beautiful woman. She's 87. She still paints every day. And she's just, um, she's just a beautiful soul, beautiful spirit. It, 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 it was so interesting in the movie because this actually, it all took place in the 1950s. Yes. And this was a divorced single mom who was essentially trapped in her yeah. own world, and it perhaps speaks to why she was so silent when her husband decided to say, these are mine. Absolutely. She was at home painting. She was much more comfortable and still is uh, at home painting. And so by the time she found out about the deception, uh, it had been going on for some time, and they argued about it, and he convinced her that, you know, they would take the money away, they would take her child away. He isolated her, and it was ultimately a, an abusive relationship emotionally. And the courtroom drama scene was so outrageous where there was actually a, a paint-off. Yes. But I understand what we see in the movie isn't even as outrageous as, as what happened in real life. No, they had to tone it down because you wouldn't believe it. And the stories that Margaret even tells are just so unbelievable. I mean, Walter had really gone to a very delusional place at that point. Right, because you worked alongside Christoph Waltz, who plays the charming con artist of a husband, Walter. Yes. And you described their relationship as abusive, but, but initially it was, it was romantic. It was. I mean, she was just, um, like you said, a single mom, and, and to have somebody who was so charming and had so much energy and she was just so in love with him, you know, mm. as, as it begins, you know. We have some social questions for you. You have a sure. lot of fans out there. Um, so uh, Brianna Gregory wants to know, if you weren't acting, what would you be doing? Uh, you know what? I've asked myself that a <laughs> lot of times. Um, I really don't know, which is why I think I keep acting, right? That's what <laughs> kept me in it. Um, maybe teaching, teaching dance. I like that. Yeah. And Kyle LaMonica wants to know, what is the best piece of advice ever given to you? Um, not to, uh, to keep your eyes on your own paper, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Pay attention to your own race and, and try, not to, uh, try not to compare yourself or judge yourself based on anybody else. That's the great advice. And I understand there's some other exciting news. You're planning on another biopic, uh, Get It While You Can, where you're going to portray legendary rock icon Janis Joplin. Yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah, it's, it's been in the works for years, and we have a wonderful director on it now, Jean-Marc Vallée, who directed Wild. And um, we're moving forward, and it's my hope that, that you guys are going to get to see it this oh, time. Oh, my hope as well. Yeah. And so we have a little lightning round prepared for you to oh, test right. your creative instincts. It's called it's Artistic not, they're Amy. not good. Okay. <laughs> okay, portraits or finger painting? Uh, portraits. <laughs> nice. Crayons or markers? Crayons. <laughs> Last picture you drew? Uh, I drew a picture of a frog for my daughter. <laughs> I like it that. It wasn't very good. Museums <laughs> or musicals? Oh, oh, why make me pick? But I'm going to go with musicals, but it's tight. <laughs> Your greatest masterpiece? My daughter. I, I set you up for yeah, that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Amy Adams, thank you so much <laughs> for joining you. us. And Big Eyes hits theaters on Christmas Day.